La di da di da di da di da di da di da di da. This compound adjusting system is a pain in the posterior, but I have a solution. There you go. End of video. See ya. Nah, just kidding. One of my first solutions was to drill two holes either side of the cross slide. The trouble is it tended to dent the clamping nut which positioned the compound in permanent angles. Scrap that idea. The mystery of the brass shim. I had that there, had a couple of bolts going through, locking it to the compound, but with just enough clearance so when I undid the side bolts, it would turn. Hmm, now we know. My next solution was to make this round clamp system, and it worked fine. Only trouble is I had to loosen four bolts, which always filled with swarf, and the bolts damaged my numbers on the protractor. While cruising machining videos I came across some guy who ground a groove on the side of the compound to allow a spanner to disengage lock nuts without winding it back. I thought, duh, why hasn't anyone done this before? Many upmarket lathes use this system as standard. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Get a better lathe. But then, what would we make crazy mod videos of? Well, I thought, I can do this better because I have a milling machine and a similar cutter. Nah, wrong, Steve-o. The cutter didn't cut the slot as I imagined it would. It groaned, shook, and sounded like an angry bear trying to get out of a closed dumpster. I did manage to get it this far before calling it. Obviously this cutter can't plunge, much like white men can't jump. Wrong tool for the job. Maybe a staggered tooth cutter would do it. Dunno. I can practically hear all you certified proper machinists giggling like little girls bellowing We knew that dumbass. We hobby machinists haven't had the training and experience. And someone telling us you can't cut a ditch with that thing, laddie. Assuming he was an elderly Scottish master machinist, of course. I pondered hogging out most of the metal and then trying the cutter again. But luckily I come to my senses. So what now? Do I fork out for a staggered tooth cutter or scrounge through my stuff for a solution? Well here it is. Some of you may have seen this diamond beast sharpening a milling cutter in one of my videos. I've already committed to the mod so got nothing to lose. So I did three cuts. Then one vertically to get rid of the ridges. This aggressive 40mm cutter cut through the slide like butter. Each side took about 10 minutes. Didn't think it would be wide enough for the spanner to work, but it did. Yay! The compound angle could be set with one of these, or one of these, but I got used to having it at the front. I pondered this disgusting excuse for a protractor and went yuck because the lines are friggin awful and I'd have to cut it down to clear the spanner. So I've decided to butcher this protractor for the task. I got stuck with this substandard thing where the lines are just printed on rather than etched. Just run your finger along there to see if you have any notching. Nothing on that. This one has got distinct lines you can feel them 
So I think I'll go with that one. Oh yeah. I made a brass sleeve in the back of the compound to centre the protractor. So when I line it up, yeah, I can square it. You could also knock that out and drill an 8mm hole and use a drill bit. Which of course I thought of afterwards. Duh. I think I'll do a test bend to see if this stuff needs heat. Struggling. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a bugger. Bugger. Of course, I didn't film this. I just thought I'd give it another shot. And when I pulled it up, it went crack. Hear that? Yeah, well, this stuff is not bendable. That's not gonna work, laddie. Go back to the drawing board. Shit. Did I say that out loud? Well, that was a complete disaster. You can see where the uh, stainless steel is fractured. And this is as sharp as a razor blade. Hmm. Okay. We will figure it out. So I can anneal this and get a reasonable bend. So if I went with plan A, or any plan, the numbers will be upside down. So I was going to cut a plate to cover up the numbers. And I was going to use black anodized aluminium because it shows more than the girlies at a nightclub. The problem with uh, anodized aluminium is that it scratches too easily so within weeks this could look um, pretty awful another problem with this plan when I bent it up that's where the edge would go which had enough meat to drill the hole but I didn't like this it looked uh, a little bit messy so I'm going to plan B rather than the um, anodized aluminium in this section I was thinking of a nice piece of brass and make the whole unit out of brass so I could sort of run it up here down across there and make it look a, a little bit neater so I've got this one mil piece of brass which I test bent but it snapped. I scrounged through my material hoping to find a piece of uh, brass angle, but couldn't. I've contemplated uh, making my own, but decided too much trouble. So, plan B.5 
if there is such a thing. Aluminium angle. Yeah. I'm going to cut it there. Holes will go there somewhere. Then I'm going to glue the bracket to the protractor. These triangle marks on the better protractor denote 45 degrees, which would come in handy if you ever had a sudden bout of numerical dyslexia. <laughs> I have to trim the radius of the protractor about three and a half mils to expose the line. Make it three. That'll do. These days we are sport with methods of marking metal. There's laser engraving, uh, computer engraving, uh, a skillful uh, punch operator can make a really nice job. But I do it my way. Sorry Frankie. Holy bubbling aluminium, Batman! Now the problem here is trying to figure out where to drill the holes. Just going to put a grub screw in each side, just protruding a little bit. Now I'm going to set the protractor up, line it up with the mark. Give it a bit of a squeeze. Alright, let's give this thing a road test.
other way, dopey. I think I should surrender my driver's license. Hmm. That's pretty good. Can't get any better than pretty good. Good. What's wrong with me today? Should I surrender my machinery? Never! You could get it spot on if you wanted to tap it that last point two of a degree, but for general work, that's close enough. Wonderful. Now for my next trick. Oh, I've run out of tricks. See you next time. Bye.